Hi, and welcome to this video about the Discrimination, Employment and Occupation Convention, or Convention 111, one of the two ILO fundamental conventions on equality and non-discrimination. Discrimination is detrimental to the principle of equality of all people, which is a fundamental principle and a human right. It carries a cost for society in general, as it undermines social cohesion and perpetuates poverty, for individuals as it affects their dignity, their physical and mental health, and sometimes their standard of living, and for enterprises, because it is a waste of human talent and it affects their productivity and competitiveness. But how can ILO member states elimin eliminate discrimination in the world of work? Convention 111, adopted in 1958 and almost universally ratified, is key to this end. But what is discrimination? Convention 111 defines it as any distinction, exclusion or preference made on the basis of specific ground which has the effect of nullifying or impairing equality of opportunity or treatment in employment or occupation. Which are the specific grounds listed by Convention 111? There are seven, race and color, national extraction, that is national origin, sex and gender, including sexual harassment, religion, social origin, and political opinion. That's it, you may say. Well, Convention 111 also provides protection from discrimination based on other grounds, which can be determined nationally after consultation with representative organizations of employers and workers and with other appropriate bodies. Some countries have adopted a longer list of prohibited grounds of discrimination, such as age, health, HIV status, family responsibilities, disability, sexual orientation, gender identity, and nationality. Who is covered by Convention 111? The Convention applies to all persons, no exception, in all sectors, public and private, and occupations, and at all stages of the employment process, that is, during recruitment procedures, in terms and conditions of employment, wages, hours of work, paid annual leave, occupational safety and health, social security benefit, dismissal, etc. For access to vocational training for promotion and assignment. Discrimination can be direct or indirect. Direct discrimination is when a less favorable treatment is imposed on certain persons based on one or more of the prohibited grounds. Whereas indirect discrimination is an apparently neutral law or practice which has a disproportionate negative impact on a particular group of persons with no objective job related justification. Let's provide some examples. An ad for a job that excludes applicants of a certain gender, age or skin color would be a direct discrimination. An ad for a job with a hate requirement, which is unrelated to the job, but which in practice drastically limits the chance of female applicant or person from certain origin to be recruited would be an indirect discrimination. Conveying meetings or training session late in the afternoon would be an indirect discrimination as well. It has an impact on everyone's life, but it will affect disproportionately workers with family responsibility, which are more often women, who may find it difficult to attend. Intent or motive to discriminate are irrelevant. It is sufficient that the conduct has a discriminatory effect. Are there any exceptions to the definition of discrimination in Convention 111? The Convention provides for three types of exceptions, which have to be interpreted and applied restrictively. First, there are the inherent requirements of a particular job. For example, a good eyesight for a pilot, or a certain skin color to play the role of a historical character in a play or a movie. 
but these have to be applied case by case for a particular job, not an entire sector or profession. Second, the special measures to meet the particular needs of a group of persons based on sex, disability, age, family responsibilities or historical disadvantages of a particular ethnic or social group. And third, the measures affecting an individual who is suspected of or engaged in activities prejudicial to the security of the state, which must be personal, proportional and with a right of appeal. What do ILO member states have to do with a view to implementing Convention 111? Each ratifying country has to put in place a national policy promoting equality of opportunity and treatment with a view to eliminating discrimination. This policy should contain measures aiming at repealing discriminatory provision or eliminating discriminatory practices, adopting legislation promoting equality, adopting voluntary measures promoting educational program, facilitating, facilitating cooperation with social partners, and collective bargaining agreement can be a very powerful tool in that regard, and ensuring effective enforcement of the measures adopted, which means, as always, having an efficient labor inspection system and an accessible and independent judicial system. What are the ingredients for an effective national policy? An effective national equality policy must combine legislative and administrative measures, collective agreements, public policies, affirmative action measures, dispute resolution and enforcement mechanisms, practical programs and awareness raising, and also specialized bodies. National equality bodies, which are more and more common in many countries, have an important role to play, too. They may provide advice, handle complaints, help to improve legislation, carry out awareness-raising activity, publish independent reports, and make recommendations. Three points in conclusion. One, no society is entirely free from discrimination. There is a need for continuous action. There will always be room for improvement. There are stages in the implementation of Convention 111. Eliminating discrimination in law and practice. Ensuring that there is a national equality policy developed in cooperation with employers and workers' representatives. Promoting the principles of the Convention and ensuring access to justice. Elimination of discrimination in the world of work is extremely important, but it cannot be done in isolation. We need to fight discrimination in society in general.